tired of wasting time on weak AI art tools. Today, we're putting two of the most powerful image generators head-to-head, -head, Illustrious XL V 3.0 Stable versus Anima Tensor, and the results might just blow your mind. Which AI image generator gives you the best results? Illustrious XL or Anima Tensor? Let's find out with real comparisons. This is Illustrious XL 3.0 Stable, and this is Anima Tensor. Both are powerful AI image generators, but which one is truly the best? In today's video, we'll compare both models side by side to help you decide which one fits your creative needs. Let's start with Illustrious XL V 3.0 Stable. It's a high quality image model developed by Anima AI, built on Stable Diffusion XL. It's made for stylish and detailed results. It's also future ready, trained using advanced Epsilon prediction techniques making it great for fine-tuning and customization later on. Now, let's look at Anima Tensor. This model is specially made for anime-style art. It's based on Animagen XL 4.0-0 and trained using the latest V prediction and Zero Terminal SNR methods. What makes it unique is its training set. Over 8 million anime images all the way up to January 2025. This means sharper, cleaner, and more expressive anime visuals. Stay tuned as we put them to the test with real prompts and image results. So, we're testing both image generators using the same prompts to see how each one performs under identical conditions. Let's begin with Illustrious XLV 3.0 Stable. Once you select the base model or checkpoint, you can customize your style or character further by adding a LoRa model a great way to enhance specific traits in your images. Next, you can apply embeddings, just like other SDXL models. Some useful ones include Asian Grin MD2, RED Lips GW, Beyond SDXL, Negative V2, PA7, XL Portrait Tools, and Pony PDXL Negative. These embeddings help refine the details and style of your generated image. Then we have the VAE, or Variational Autoencoder, which affects color quality and tone. For most users, I recommend setting this to automatic for the best balance between vibrancy and accuracy. In the settings section, you can adjust the aspect ratio, sampling method, steps, scheduler, CFG scale, and seed, all based on how much control you want over the final image. And under advanced settings, you'll find options like clip skip and ENSD, which let you fine tune the model even more for precision output. Next, we have the upscale option. This feature lets you boost your image resolution after generating the base version. You can fine-tune the upscaling using settings like higher steps and denoising strength to control the smoothness and clarity of the result. After that, there's the A Detailer tool, a great option for fixing common issues like facial distortion and hand deformities. You just need to select the right model based on what you want to fix. Options include face, hand, person, and media pipe, for this example, I'll go with the face model. You can also add a LoRa at this stage. Think of LoRa's as specialized modifiers that apply a specific style or character to your output. Each one is designed for a particular look or theme, which helps personalize your image even more. Now enter your main prompt, the detailed description of the image you want to generate. Below that is the negative prompt section. Since we've already included recommended negative prompts, there's no need to make changes here. If you want a transparent background, simply turn on the Layer Diffusion option. And finally, at the bottom of the panel, there's a Reset button, in case you want to clear everything and start fresh. With all the settings in place, we're ready to test our prompt and see what Illustrious XL generates. Now let's move on to Anima Tensor. After clicking the Run button, Anima presents the default settings. It gives you the option to change them later, but for now, I simply clicked Use Recommended to proceed with the default setup. One extra feature here is the SDXL Refiner button. I enabled it to help improve image quality and fine-tune the output. Aside from that, most of the settings are the same as those in Illustrious XLV 3.0 Stable. Now I return to Illustrious XLV 3.0 Stable to test our first prompt. I'll paste a pre-written prompt. A beautiful lady traveling in an airplane. I've set it to generate two images. Next, we explore the A1111 option, where you can enable the TAMS 2.0 engine. This activates a special parsing method for prompts, useful for refining structure and meaning. But keep in mind, certain syntax like AND or break might not work properly in this mode. There are also extra tools to translate, 
abstract, or enhance your prompts. I chose to enhance our prompt with one click using the AI Enhance tool. You can also click more to view a list of suggested prompts and choose one if you like. Once the prompt is ready, we simply click generate to produce the image. While the image is being generated in illustrious XL, I copied the same prompt and pasted it into Anima Tensor to keep the comparison fair. Now, let's take a look at the results. Here are the two images from illustrious XLV 3.0 stable, and here are the two images from Anima Tensor. So now it's up to you. Which model do you think did a better job? Let us know in the comments. We continued testing with a few more ready-made prompts to see how both AI models perform across different styles and subjects. Next, look, a cute penguin wearing an astronaut helmet on the moon's surface, blurred background, pixel art style with 8-bit or 16-bit color palette, dithering for shading, crisp one-to-one -one pixel edges, and a retro blocky design in a simple centered composition. Here are the results from illustrious V3.0 stable. And here are the results from Anima Tensor using the exact same prompt. Next see, a close-up portrait of an aristocratic boy with brown hair and profile wearing a crown made of cherry blossoms. Soft sunlight and shadows create intricate patterns on his face. Captured with a Canon EOS R5, using a macro lens to highlight facial detail and springtime beauty. We use the same prompt in both models. Check out the side-by-side -side results from Illustrious XL and from Anima Tensor. Next look, Necessary Solutions book cover, author Yuki Nightmare. Both generators were tested using this short creative prompt. Here are the visual interpretations from each. Next look, a charming young Indian woman in a cozy German cafe enjoying schnitzel in a high-quality cartoon style with an Exam Deutsch watermark. Let's look at how both tools handled this detailed and cultural prompt. Next see, a frustrated South Asian man in pajama pants rubbing his temples on a messy couch in cartoon realism with cinematic lighting and no text. Both models were given the same prompt, and the contrast in their styles really stands out here. Next look, modern muscular Santa Claus in a fitted black tank top with gray accents showcasing strength and style, wearing vibrant red festive pants on a white background, clean cartoon realism, no extra details. See how each model interpreted this fun and stylized holiday concept. So with all these examples, you can see how illustrious XLV 3.0 stable and Anima Tensor handle different art styles, from pixel art to photorealism, cartoon to concept covers. Now the big question is, which one impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI tool breakdowns. Both Illustrious XLV 3.0 Stable and Anima Tensor deliver impressive results, each excelling in different styles and use cases. Your best choice depends on your creative needs, whether it's stylized realism or anime-focused art. Over 83% of viewers watching this channel aren't subscribed. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, your one click to subscribe makes a huge difference. It helps us grow, keeps this content free, and brings these powerful AI tools to more creators like you. So please, subscribe, like, and share this video with someone who's passionate about AI image generators. If you want to watch earn $95,714 in one month, start this before you die, YouTube automation click on the video on the left. If you're ready to watch create stunning thumbnails and AI art without a GPU comfy UI on Cephalon Cloud walkthrough, click on the video on the right. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Happy Learnify AI, goodbye.